Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Little Nightmares. From where we last left off, we've defeated the janitor by severing both of his arms, and now we're stuck in the air vent, as you may recall. Now, I really do feel sorry for the janitor. I mean, he'll probably die eventually, because, you know, after that, after what we saw in the last video, the love loss will be getting to him. As you, as you recall, I meant... I already mentioned Ozzy in my previous video, and my sister's dog. The reason why is because I'm I'm looking after him while she, my sister is away on holiday. Like I did it last time. And look, I'm going, going upside, <laughs> going backwards this time. And, um, right on, on a meat hook, which is not the best option. And I'm wondering who is, must be a chef up there. Key is here, don't let go. Some weird, strange things we're encountering, we're encountering right here in the moor. Which is like some kind of a prison for children. I'm wondering what's in. Oh, yeah, hunger strikes! Forgot about that. Still need to find something to eat. I can't eat these bags. Uh, the mouse trap. It's not this one. Oh, I don't know if you die of starvation if you don't sleep very long. There's a rat. No. That to my hamster, Rocky. But none of you have ever ate rats before. Imagine if she did that to Ratigan from the Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> oh. oh, I remember this bit. I'll just watch this. Oh yeah, this always remind. This bit always reminds me of Heart of Darkness. You know, on the first level. The second part of the first level, you know, after you lost your plasma cannon. And you know, to those big monsters. Yeah, I think we're on the right track. And we're going to push this cart and put it in some kind of a kitchen. Okay, not. Oh, I hear someone cutting. We well, better go in there and see what it is. Look who we've got here! It's that disfigured chef! Oh! Good thing, it, good thing he's not noticing me. Uh oh! No! Oh, thank goodness for that! You don't give me a heart attack here! I mean, most people always assume that they wear masks, these chefs. I'm not sure if, it, if it's actually a mask or. If he's got fish! I'm wondering how to get past him. Oh, you're too slow, mate. Who would employ you as a chef in the first place? Just watch this. I remember the first time that thing up on here. I remember the right play. Mine's like this. No, no, no! Oh, he? Look at him, he's very quick! For a fat chef! And he's gonna put me in the oven! 
Who's he? I think he's. I think he's watched way too much Hansel and Gretel. That chef. You've heard of Hansel and Gretel. Of these two kids who went into their witch's home and she plans to cook them. Oh, you might have heard stories about the devil worshippers from Diary from Wimpy Kid. If I can get past him now at this rate. I remember times messing up on this. It's a good thing he's not going to stuff me in some fish. It's the worst kind. I like I would end up vacuum packed in a can of tuna. With looking. With nothing to look forward to but the smell of. Mayonnaise! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Too slow, Tubby! <laughs> hey, look at this! There's fish hanging on the ceiling. Hey, there's a swordfish! Like a marlin type of swordfish. Oh, I'm gonna smash a pot here and see how you like it! That sounds like he's choking on something. Oh yeah, I remember that one episode of Workrats where there was like a fish like that. That ate Angelica's doll, Cynthia. Oh, it was quite... It was still quite funny, I remember the bit where her dad threw her gun over, thrown overboard. Oh, that was probably due to Angelica lowering down the anchor while the boat was on the sea. And Stu was kind of like, <clears throat> Chia! Chia! You get back up here! And the cat. Let me try again. You get back up here! And the captain was kind of like, Hey, who let down the anchor? Let me show you watch this episode if you don't believe me. Ah, yeah. doing so well. I'll let him get back to his usual cooking. Oh, thought it would be another one of them guys. Look at that! Two toilets! Oh! Like I would be in the same toilets as one guy. Just like in that episode of Mr. Bean. Good thing that other guy didn't notice. Oh. The lift. Oh dear, looks like there's somebody sleeping. Oh, look at this here. Looks, looks kind of like a sleeping penis. <laughs> and he's... Yep. Gee, look at him here. I remember failing on this, but I'm about to show you. Keeping has grabbed his key. And avoid being seen by him when he's woken up. Whoopsie! Yep. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed! I was about to say that the moment he woke up. How often do you see ships waking up on the wrong side of the bed? Open that for my return trip. My trip back down. Now we're gonna do this professionally, without being seen by him. Good thing he's not waking up on my walking. I mean, this is a strange world that we're in. A world that is bigger than you. You know, you'll be wondering what she looks like in that raincoat. Oh, if I thought somebody here woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Another one of them chefs. 
I mean, how, how many ships are we going to encounter in this part of the mall? There's the key. I think he's woken up to go into the toilet. As long as he doesn't see me, I'm okay. i will make this quick before he sees me! Good thing this game has an auto save. Now where is that other chef? Oh, there he is. Too busy going through some food. Oh, that rookie has got some steak. Like I would want to fancy sorting them out. But but where's the steak hammer? I mean, you can't sort out steak without a steak hammer. Okay, this is going to be tricky with him around. Oops. Gee, he's very fast, despite being so fat. No offense to all you tubsters out there. Oh, it would be tricky right here. Oh, it's got, it's got a severe gag reflex. Is he, is he choking on something or. Yeah, one false. You know, one false move and I've had it. Oh. Good thing he cannot see me through this table. <laughs> He's looking through to see where I am. Even if you thought that there's no hiding place. Oh, that's one of the known creatures. Uh oh. This is going to cause me aggro. Too bad Ozzy's missing out on all of the fu- Creepy stuff. Whew. Oh yeah, we have to go through this vent again. Hey, you can see there's a that's a meat cleaver you used to chop meat. Oh yeah, I remember this bit. We have to get on this crank thing right here. Open the trap door and get this piece of meat. And you turn this handle right here, it comes out as a sausage. <laughs> Get out of here. All these sausages hanging in, hanging on above the ceiling. Oh, well, to get more sausages, we have to use more meat. You can tell by these, you see all these meat hooks up there. It's a good thing Leatherface is not using them. You know Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, he has the meat hooks. Okay, this is the momentum I remember. I'll explain more about that as soon as we form a sausage. Okay, I have to do this. Although mainly when I'm on this, I have to do this like one meat, one meat thing at a time. Which, if you want to, you can do this with both of them. Oh yeah, I forgot about this checkpoint thingy. If this saves me from coming back here to do this one at a time. You have to get these things right here on the trap door, you can see here. I better, I better hope this works. That's a neat, neat little lift that they've got installed. Ah, I 
can't believe it worked! Oh yeah, I remember this type of machine before! From Ed and Eddie! You know that episode where Eddie had his camera out and plans to make a calendar of all the kids in the cul-de-sac? Oh, that was funny when, they took, they, when Eddie took a picture of Rob and he fell into that machine! Which, he came out of, as a sausage! He was like, get out of here, stupid! <laughs> He's like, I am a wiener! He's kind of like, so, Victor, we have poachers! He was quite funny in this sausage form as Rolf. <laughs> Not to mention Victor gone do lally over the ads. Watch this momentum right here. See that? I got this thing off of my uncle too, Legends of Metro Nui. You know, when the karma was hanging on one of them shoots in like Kometru. Although she was with Fakama and Matau at the time. <laughs> she did this momentum thing. See how I see the contenders trying to do this on Hang Tough in Gladiators. I mean, Hang Tough is all about like momentum and going from traversing from one ring to another. It's like the form of aerial chess. I mean, there's no way I know if I can have I can do Hang Tough, even if I've got the momentum. And what? Oh yeah, this. Oh yeah, we need another key for this. Oh yeah, there's another one of them chef, chef creeps. Best thing to do is hide in one of them boxes. Isn't he the same one who we saw in the bedroom? Yeah, I've not known any chefs being this fat. I'm not really concerned about their size. I mean, it's like what King Campbell said in that episode of Series 5 from Waterloo Road, the one with Aiden King. Oh, he looks. He was an overweight student, was Aiden King. He ate like so much food with calories like donuts. <laughs> Whoa, oh, he. He knows! Best thing to do is hide in them air vents so he can't get us. Well, there's no way I'm gonna end up in the menu. Imagine if the menu contains like try our kids meal. It says one, one, one meal contains one fish, one fish, one sausage. Contains one fish, one sausage, one kid on a steak, and what? One kid on a steak. Plus one in a fish? Now that's pretty weird! It, and it's still a good job we don't have a, have minivans full of sharks. <laughs> like in Codename Kiss Next Door, I still remember. Them sharks. <laughs> I mean, whose idea was that, eh? What's he doing now? What's he... Oh, he's chopping up some form of meat. And he's got a key on the chopping table! Now, why would anyone come up with that, eh? Why would he use that key? Oh! I didn't know he had a mask on! But what's... I mean, what's he got to hide? No, they're disfigured. I mean, there's no way I'm ever I'm eating this. Well, not on my food bill. Oh yeah, there's a grind meat grinder. Whew. That got that'll get him distracted for now. Let's make this quick. But well, how can you move fast if you've got a key? He knows again! Oh my god, there's no way on earth I'm gonna act quickly. Uh oh, no, 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 no! 
Oh. My heart pounding with adrenaline and fear! Oh, thank goodness! Just in the nick of time! Oh, I thought I'd never get away from him! It looks like I'm in some sort of a trash shoot. Oh, thank goodness he's gone to the other room. Yeah, I'm doing so well right here without any foul ups. And he's washing up dishes. I suppose he has to if he wants to burn off some calories. Oh yeah, they're twins. I forgot about that. Now, the question is how to get past them. We can't go beyond through here. Okay, this is going to be a tricky part. Hmm. We can get past there without them seeing us. Told ya! Best to do that when their backs are turned. Or we're hiding in some place. Ah, we look at the water coming out of here. They really need to call, call in a plumber. Hmm. Well, they have no idea here. Hmm. Let's see if I can hide in that table. Oh, oh no! I thought that was a good hiding spot, but <laughs> he got me instead. Oh dear. I am back in the trash chute. Not the hiding spot that I wanted to do. Or should I say, not the one I expected. You get what I mean. Hmm. I think that was good time to get back. Back, back, back. Oh, the other one knows. I don't know how they get around. A bit like the janitor. She needs to find somewhere to pop out. Have it quiet. Oh, what's he doing now? Inspecting the floors. Gee, look at all these dishes! It'll take them ages to wash them! Oh, oh. Did I step on the crack plate? Well, at least I didn't cut my feet! Well, it's usually glass that occurs, but I'll say that for later. I think pulling this lever will alert them. But now's not a good time. I mean, he's sorting out one of the dishes already, then. One of the chefs. Tell by the hat he's wearing. Gee, we need a professional one that doesn't gag a lot. Yep, now's a good time to hide again! Surprised how they know, despite being disfigured. Yeah, but maybe they don't have good hearing. A bit like the janitor. Again. Ugh, look at how hideous his face is. Despite the fact that it's a mask. I mean, I don't know what they've got to hide. Now, ah, the question is how to get past them again. Mm. 
need to get past them in order to get out of this part. It's important that they don't see you in this bit. What do we have to get past them without them seeing you? Ugh. At least I'm doing it in a safe manner. Oh, what's he doing? Is he... Sorting out pipes? You need, to, you need to get a plumber in to do this. Just wait until he's gone. Oh, he's sorting out the sink. And again, we need a plumber to sort that out. No, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you that I did a, did a, did a, did a flight simulator video where I flew from Manchester, from Manchester Airport to Orlando on the Virgin Atlantic 747-400. I mean, I remember the times traveling on them to Orlando and to Las Vegas and from LA back to Heathrow. I think I might mention that in my Let's Play Doom 2, No Rest for the Living. Uh-oh! Hey, no again! <laughs> I don't know how they could get me from this pool. I'm having a good ride on them since that cable hook in Agent Underfire that I let's play off. <laughs> Sorry guys, you're too slow. Oh, there's another one. As soon as I let go. Oh dear. Whoa! Not again! I think if you're too slow, they may get you. Oh! Well, you can't, that's assisted suicide. I was worried that they may get me. Normally you get assisted suicide in Call of Duty. Oh. Mistake! Oh, bad mistake on my part. I was almost there to the next portion. It was almost like a chase boss battle bit, unlike the janitor. Sorry, guys, you're too slow. <laughs> Well, at least I've made it in one piece. Oh, oh dear, I have to balance on them pipes. Better than balancing on the roof. I think this is the next portion coming up. Oh, I'm not sure if I've got the time to do this. But as soon as this next part loads up, I will have to... Well, as you know, I'm going to have to cut off here. But I will see you next time as we continue on in my Let's Play of Little Nightmares. And so until then, bye!